Hey, what's up guys? Zaya from Carnuba Detailing. Hoping you're all having a great day just like always. This is a special video today. We're not doing any product reviews or anything like that, but we're actually going to be doing a vlog on my experience at the Mobile Tech Expo in Las Vegas. Spent about two days there with some friends, ran into some awesome industry leaders as well, and some funny stuff happened along the way, so make sure to watch the whole video um, because there was a point in the video where I did lock myself out of my own freaking car, so if you guys are interested to see what happened there, make sure to check out the whole video. But besides that guys make sure to subscribe leave a thumbs up and also follow me on my social media platforms down below thank you so much guys and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video ladies and gentlemen can I please have your attention I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story and I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen It's always nice if you know what way you're going, but obviously I don't, so we gotta go back down. Alright guys, so we just got past security, we are in the exhibit right now, we got some early access to it so we can go ahead and wipe down some of these vehicles. Um, obviously we got products and all that cool awesome stuff we're going to be checking out later today. Um, but here are the vehicles that we need to be taking care of, we got a couple Mercedes, a couple classics. Um, that's a cool ass Lexus though right there, I like that. Um, let's go ahead and I need to find Princeton and Isaac and start helping out with this stuff. So it's going to be a fun time. Let's go make it happen. All right guys, so excuse me for the really shaky camera while we're moving around, but now that we're here, I'm just gonna give you an example of what we're gonna be using. So we got PMS Speedmaker, that's what we're gonna be using on the actual paint itself. We got some paint gloss and a couple other of these bottles. We're gonna be using that for the wheels and stuff. All this stuff is just gonna be a quick kind of prep and wipe down just to get that light surface dust. So we'll flood the surface and wipe it down gently. Um, we got Auto Fiber, shout out to Auto Fiber. I brought some of my rag company Eagle Edges towels to go ahead and use with Bead Maker like always. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead, go around and take care of these vehicles. Some of them have already been taken care of. Um, we have James over here um, taking care of the Porsche. What's up, James? Hey. How you doing, man? Very good. Just taking care of the Porsche real quick, taking care of the wheel arches and stuff like that. As you can see, we do have some light dirt and kind of tar that we need to remove right there. Um, take care of the wheels, paint, and then also the glass. We have some spots over here we need to take care of real quick. Make all these cars look really pretty. James, what are you using right now? I'm using what so, looks like a... Uh, paint gloss, right? Paint gloss, yeah. yeah. From PNS. From PNS, right? Yeah. Taking care of the wheels with that? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Got Bead Maker <laughs> taking care of the paint? Yep. Perfect. Bead Maker. Get it all wiped down. Awesome, awesome. Works great. Got an Insanity towel. Yeah, these are really cool Porsches. And we got to also take care of the Lexus over there. We also got to take care of a few of the Classics and the Mercedes over All here. All right, so, so we're moving on to the Lexus over here. Black paint, that's something to worry about. But we got Isaac over here taking care of it with some bead maker. Isaac, want to introduce yourself real quick, hey, man? what's going on, everybody? Isaac from Process Car Care. California, uh, right? Out of SoCal, yes. Heck yeah, man. Yeah, I met Isaac just yesterday, having great conversations with guys so far. And, you know, we've really been clicking. Um, when it comes to auto detailing. So James back at it again oh. with the paint gloss on the rims, making those things look shiny. We just finished the Porsche. I, Porsche, I can bring you guys into that one on the Panamera. So remember guys, we're just trying to get the light surface dust that's settled on the vehicles overnight to make these things look real nice um, for all the people coming in for the show. So uh, looking nice and glossy. You're gonna finish off the glass, I believe on this one. And this one will be set to go after that. Mercedes, I think that's the Ford Model T over there. And then, I don't know what this is to be honest with you guys, Gran Torino, is that all right? Yep, Ford Gran Torino. So the Lexus is all set to go, finishing up with the Mercedes over there. Just gotta take care of the glass on that one. But I just wanna ask Isaac real quick, this is actually his first time using Beadmaker. Have you heard about the product before? I've heard a lot about Beadmaker. This yeah. is my first time using it, and we're using it on a couple of cars that are unwashed. They've not been corrected. Mm -hmm. um, but what I'm seeing, and honestly is pretty odd, is this is able to restore quite a bit of depth and gloss, yeah. a lot of reflectivity. Um, again, these cars are uncorrected, unwashed, and 
I'm pretty impressed with the results. Yeah, it, like I was talking to him, even though it's a paint sealant, it has some really good filling capabilities as well. And you know, the Mercedes we just finished up, I mean, look at this car. This is like, hasn't been polished, just brought in a few hours ago. Obviously we have some marring and scratching, but the gloss effect and the shine that it radiates off this paint is amazing. So it really does a great job. All right, all right, so we just finished taking care of all the cars real quick. Me and Isaac are gonna go head over, see Rennie for his keynote. We got a few extra different cars come by. We got this Toyota um, TJ over here, a couple Jeep Wranglers drove by. That one's really cool, it's a night edition right there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go walk over to the keynote. Starts in a few minutes, we don't wanna be late for that. Rennie's probably gonna have some pretty awesome stuff to talk about. Isaac, ready to go? People. That's my new buddy, Zaya. What are you doing, man? You're in my video, bro. I'm, you're in my video. No, you're in my no, video. In I started my, my video first no, before no, you, no, bro. No, 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 no. Don't play uh, that game. I know, right? All right, guys. Um, I'm going to tune you guys in in just a little bit, so I'll talk to you soon. Hey, Diane. What's up, Chris? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, Don't hurt me Mark. <laughs> How you doing, bro? Good morning, sir. How How's are you? How's your night, man? How you good? Doing good? I uh, woke up this morning and went into my truck and click, 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 click. Dead battery. Really? No idea. I said, you know what? You Did you have a jumper cable? cable? No. No? I had to have the security guard jump my truck. Really? Hey, at least you didn't lock yourself said, out you know of your what? car like I, said, I did. You locked yourself out. I got a dead battery this I literally morning. had to break into my car yesterday. I swear to God. I did. I locked myself out, man. Oh, so tell them how you got, how, tell them so how you I had a, in. I had a bracelet that I've been wearing for like five years, you know, like the braided ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind of like, oh, not like that, that one. That's a mafia yeah. one. But I took it apart, made it noose, stuck it in there, got it on the lock, and pulled MacGyver, it up. MacGyver, dude. That's what I told him. MacGyver. He's, he's, yeah. like, I'm, he's like, I'm worried how you figured that out yeah. so quick. I'm like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, man. I think that's your past. <laughs> I think that's your past coming out. I know, right? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Fill this whole area and everybody up here. Come on close. We're not going to bite. We're not going to say a prayer. We could if you want to. But <laughs> you're going to get a lot closer. So what I want you guys to do is I just explain that something that changed my life was meeting a gentleman named Jim Gogan. Okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take and give you an opportunity to learn a lesson. But more importantly, make some friends. So we're going to give you 10 seconds. What you're going to do is you're going to shake as many hands that person's going to tell you your na their name, and you're going to tell them theirs. And as you do it, you're going to yell out how many hands you've shaken, how many people you've met, how many names you've heard. And you're going to have 10 seconds to completeness. Now, there's an award at the end, okay? There's a reward at the end. I'm going to pay you that, that $10, but I'm going to pay you $10 a second to do this. So do you guys, anybody want clarification on the instructions? Yes. Let me just put What's my camera the, down. What's the word? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, just finished up the keynote with Rennie Doyle. There's Chris, Rennie, Diane, chilling out. Me and Isaac hanging out, just watching everyone enjoy the time. We're going to be heading out to the actual expo in a little bit. People are just shaking hands, talking, networking a bit. You know how it is, so. Um, but yeah, it's in, events like this, Rennie really put it well that kind of make us people that are here stand out a lot more than everyone else throughout the industry. We have a huge industry, guys, automotive in general, and there's not that many that do this type of stuff, so it really sets you apart. People having fun, taking photos. I'll bring you guys in the expo in just a little bit. All right, guys, so we're back at the expo, as you can see. People are walking around, everybody's checking stuff out, a lot of talking, a lot of networking, some awesome products and stuff. Um, I'm gonna go walk back this way. I do have to go grab all my microfiber towels that we're using and go back to the IDA certification stuff. So I know this is a bit of a different video, guys, and my video is not really that quality. I do need to get a GoPro pretty bad, but um, my image stabilization probably sucks at this point in time. But um, but yeah, we're back over here where we're taking care of all the Jeep Wranglers and Mercedes and Lexus and everything. And we're about to get a few other things done, so. All right, guys, let's bring you in real quick. We got Mark over here from PC Enterprises and PNS. So you don't know the difference between doing a certification right now for a potential new IDA member, SV and CD certified. I just finished certifying another individual. Um, kind of just going over certain types of tools, products, stuff like that. Differences between microfiber towels, making sure that these guys and girls know how to and what they're utilizing in order to complete 
a proper detail. And we got a bunch of sample vehicles. We got this Nissan, we got this Jeep over here. We got the Porsche and everything that we're kind of walking them around with to give them different examples of stuff to make sure that they know what they're doing. So we already got a few new certified validated detailers for the IDA today, so that's pretty awesome. Congratulations to all those guys and girls that got certified. We got a lot more we got to go through. Hopefully we have some time to go ahead and walk around the expo too and kind of talk to some people. So I'll see you guys in, in a little bit. All right guys, so this is a really interesting booth. We got the Max Shine booth or Shine Master if you want to call it as well over here. So as you guys know, Max Shine has really been pushing on the US market the past few months and they actually opened headquarters in California recently. So I've been trying to get in contact with these guys for a while. So it's nice to be at this event, be able to talk to a few of the guys and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, and hopefully we can get some of these tools and products of theirs to test out later down the line. Really interested in them, so. This is the flex booth over here, guys. We got all the cordless stuff going on. Got a gentleman trying out some paint collection over here. This is a 3401 force action polisher. IDA booth. If you guys are detailers out there, make sure to check out the IDA. What's up, man? Alex? Yeah. How you doing, bro? Hey, What's good. going on here, man? Get on in. Oh, we are uh, just hanging out, saying hi, being saying a friend hi. of the base. So you got nothing to sell me on. I'm already in the IDA. Yeah, so. I know that. But I would love to be more of a part of the IDA. Oh, do that. Yeah, that would be pretty awesome. Any kind of opportunities coming up? All kinds. You guys need help with anything? Oh, okay. Do I need to take out the garbage or something, man? Yeah, I'll would do you? it. I'll do it. Would you? Okay. <laughs> Um, write down your email. And yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> I know, right? No, yeah, yeah I think uh, if you want to get more involved, get on a committee. What are you okay. passionate about? I love content creation, man, okay. as you can see. Videos, so content. We could that. get you on like the marketing committee. Awesome. Marketing and communications. Perfect. Do you know um, Matt by any chance from Biff's Auto Detailing? Mm -hmm. No, in Arizona. He does stuff with marketing with the IDA too. Okay. So I just submitted a video recently with him. I'm more of the certification guy. Certification guy? Yeah, they don't let me market too much. I got you. I, I got just you. stand here and talk. I know, right? I talk a lot too. Yeah. They hate it. Well, I don't know why they watch it. They hate it so much. No, but, they love it. Yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah, thanks for um, tuning in on the video. Appreciate it. Yeah. Bob Phillips right there. PNS. All right, everybody, as we approach the end of the video and the event, I just want to say thank you so much for joining in and watching this experience with me. As you can see, a lot of the guys and girls, including myself, had a great time at MTE this year in Las Vegas. So if you are a detailer, an enthusiast, a, a, a body shop owner, whatever it is in the automotive industry, make sure to attend these types of events and to support the industry, in turn supporting yourself and also your community as well. It's a great fun time. You get a lot of knowledge, education, community building out of it and get to meet some awesome people along the way as you can see. Thank you so much for watching again. Remember to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and also comment below if you have any questions. If you support me, you support the community. In turn, I'll support you. Thank you again, guys, and have a wonderful day. Sting.